Hi everyone and welcome to my video. This is Editing Thomas speaking to you. Um, I'm coming to you because I was overly ambitious with my video and I have to split it into parts. So today is going to be uh, swatching uh, some new colors and um, six yellows from my palette and discussing what my favorites are. So. But before we begin, here's four new colors I got. Daniel Smith Deep Scarlet, Mayan Blue Genuine, James Gray, and Purpurei Genuine. Um, yeah, I've got them in bigger tubes. Um, so we're gonna do that real quick. I'm finishing up uh, today at the studio and I just wanna wind down basically, um, so don't mind me. Okay, so I'm just finishing up with the last color, which is Purpurei Genuine, and I do like this color quite a lot, um, as well as Deep Scarlet, which was a st standout um, out of these four new colors for me. I'm going to put these uh, samples aside in a minute to, to dry and we can get on with the yellows in my palette. Uh, let's get a move on with these. I'm gonna put, put these aside so they dry. And then we can talk about my color palette. So, so basically, um, at first, um, I got um, these colors and I Frankensteined my palette. Um, can you see that? Yeah, that better. Um, I Frankensteined it between uh, Schmincke and Daniel Smith. Um, I believe uh, I got more Schmincke colors at first, but um, my Daniel Smith just caters to me better. Um, I think Schmincke is catching up, but it, it's still not there um, in terms of like color variety and um, granulating colors and so. Um, these were the ones I got, and I believe um, I got these, um, let me just have a think, about a year ago, I believe in March or April uh, last year, um, in 2020. So we've got, um, I'm not going to say, but you can tell that like, I picked a nice um, rainbow selection just so I have a bit of everything and it was great. Um, 
I, I must say that um, at first and still, I think Schmenke's colors are creamier. Just when you use them, um, you just put the brush and it instantly becomes creamy. Daniel Smith may take a few swivels in the in the in the pans, but it's still amazing. Um, so let me just talk you through the colors that I have. So we have um, Daniel Smith lemon yellow and if you'd be interested i could um talk about the main ones i got at first in another video if you're interested let me know um for now i'll just show you the colors that i have here so first color we've got daniel smith lemon yellow um straightforward um pretty color <laughs> Uh, I think I got it more for the for the name itself. I adore lemons. Um, I love to eat them. I I like the color of them. Um, everything. I I like to put um, a slice of lemon in my tea. Obsessed. Don't use this color a lot in my paintings. I think I go for more neutral colors, or I tend to mix them. Um, so this color, although it's pretty, I don't see myself using it a lot. Um, yeah. Next color is, I believe, let me just double check. Um, mm -hmm. Just getting my swatches out. Right these ones so next is uh, transparent yellow I believe yes it's Schmincke um, and this one's a bit more acidy yellow um, that's the way I describe it um, it's slightly darker um, don't use it a lot as well, but I like to keep a nice variety of yellows to mix with uh, darker greens, especially to get um, lighter greens. Um, it's a nice color. Um, we'll see, um, but it's not an essential um, for me personally. Next is, um, I believe, is it Schmincke or is it, yeah, I believe it's Schmincke's, um, Turner's Yellow. And this is my favorite yellow ever, I think. Um, I recently got uh, another yellow, which is this one, uh, and that's Nickel Azo Yellow, and that's uh, it came close to being number one. It was there for, I don't know, a week, but then uh, Turner's Yellow um, came through and uh, stole it. It's a nice uh, milky uh, yellow. I'd say you could mix that if you have um, um, just a normal yellow primary color uh, and you'd mix it with a white, you would get that but it's a nice convenience color and um yeah i absolutely love it um next we have i believe it's uh no that one's quinacridone gold let me just find um i'm mixing my colors up here i really should have um arrange them in the right order or maybe it is quinacridone gold okay um okay uh, i believe it's a quinacridone gold no absolutely sorry that's wrong that's new gamboge uh which also is schmincke i am poorly organized i'm sorry 
uh, which is a nice darker uh, yellow. And um, I can see myself using it um, a couple of times, but it's, um, if, I've, I, if I'd have to say, um, Turner's Yellow is an essential, New Gamboge is complementary to that. So just depending on how much money you want to spend on your paints. Um, Next, I have Nickel Azo Yellow, and this is the color that I said almost um, got Turner's Yellow out of my favorite yellow, um, because if I can show you it, I'll just get another piece of paper. If, if I put some water down, on a piece of paper and I put just a tiny bit of that yellow maybe a bit more so you can see it just likes to travel can you see that on the page it just uh, it just likes to travel, but it's a bit too acidy yellow. It's a bit, it's a bit too strong. And whenever I see myself putting it down on a painting, it just makes other colors seem very transparent and bland. Um, so yeah, I would still keep it in my palette, but um, not an essential. And that is Nicolazo Yellow by Danielle Smith. Next, I've got Quinacridone Gold. Yes. Which is a schminky one. I bought this in a pan. Um, I remember um, I was in my first year uh, as uh, a student studying illustration and animation. And um, I went to a shop in Manchester called Fred Aldis. Um, and they've had Schmincke uh, watercolors. But as you know, these professional watercolors are quite expensive. And um, as soon as I see the prize, it, it's, it seems so intimidating. And this was, I believe, one of the first colors that I bought. I believe I first bought the skin tones and then I got into yellows and I got to pink. Um, but yeah, that's, that was one of the first colors that I bought and it's beautiful. It's a dark, rich yellow, um, borderlining orange. Um, is it an essential? No, you could mix that, but I'll say that it's a nice, nice, um, one to have. Hi guys, sorry for that. Um, my camera has cut off um, out of storage. I'll have to sort that out. But I just wanted to finish up with a short uh, video uh, and it's already 20 minutes long. So I'll just keep it to yellows today. And it's gonna be the first part in, uh, I don't know, a few other parts. Uh, of my watercolor palette, but we're talking in terms of yellows. Um, I just wanted to sum up and say that um, I'll probably have to re-swatch these just because um, I don't think um, I've shown the full, full pigmentation. In here you can kind of see um, the full potential. In this it's a bit more transparent. But the colors that we discussed were uh, Daniel Smith yellow, Lemon Yellow, which is that one. And then we've had Schmincke Transparent uh, Yellow. Then we've had Turner's Yellow, which is one of my favorites um, and a must have. New Gamboge, also very beautiful, very yellow, yellow, uh, like a dandelion yellow, uh, but slightly more muted, not so acidic. Next is uh, Nickel Azo Yellow, which is Jane Hayes, uh, Haynes, um, um, one of her favorites. Um, 
and it's nice, not essential though. Um, and then we've discussed uh, Quanacridone Gold by Schmincke. By the way, on the bottom you see uh, either DS, which means Daniel Smith, or Schmincke for uh, Horadam Schmincke. Yeah, so that's it. Out of out of this out of these six yellows, three are my favorite uh, and are highly recommended. Uh, the others are dependent on what you paint, um, so use your discretion. Don't just buy paints um, because they're pretty, unless you have disposable income. That's it for me uh, for today, and have a lovely evening. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye!